Hello there. Today we're going to talk about how to improve your child's listening experience. We all know that we need to be able to hear sound in order to develop speech and language skills and that hearing this sound is difficult for children with a hearing loss. Today we're going to look at the problems that our children face and what we can do to help them. Your child's hearing loss affects what they can hear so make sure you give them the best chance of hearing all the sounds that go on around them by ensuring that they wear their hearing aids or cochlear implants all day, every day. Always check in the system to make sure that it's in good working order and contact audiology straight away if you think there's any faults on the system. Think about ways that you could increase the amount of time that your child wears their system. So think about putting the hearing aids or cochlear implants back on after your child's had an evening bath. Or think about moving the charges upstairs so that you can put the system on your child as soon as they wake up on a morning. We all have difficulty listening in background noise and this is particularly the case for children with a hearing loss who find it difficult to know which of the sounds they can hear they're supposed to be paying attention to. As adults, we can usually guess at the information that we've missed. But for children who have a hearing loss, often they've lacked the language experience to be able to fill in the gaps. So, always try and make it clear what sound it is that the children are supposed to be paying attention to by reducing the background noise. If you're in the habit of having the TV on or music on in the background, you need to think about turning these devices off so that when you're talking to your child, your voice isn't competing with other sounds. Think about um, equipment in the kitchen, like the noise of the kettle boiling or the washing machine, and take your conversation somewhere else. If you live in a particularly noisy household, you may need to think about closing doors to stop the flow of sound from one room to another. Reverberation occurs when sounds bounce off the hard surfaces of a room, making it more difficult for a child to hear. Things like soft furnishings can absorb some of this sound, but often our homes aren't designed like this. So what you need to do is you need to think about which of the rooms in your house has the least hard surfaces and therefore the least reverberation. And choose this room as your go-to room for when you're having conversation, play and language learning. You may need to think about perhaps adding a rug, curtains or cushions to try and absorb some of the sound that's bouncing around. Children with a hearing loss have reduced hearing range. Hearing aids and cochlear implants are designed to work best at about one metre, so always make sure that you're close enough to your child when you're having a conversation. Yes, you might need to call your child from a distance, maybe if they're upstairs, in another room or across the garden, but always be sure that they're close enough before you actually have a conversation and have language learning experiences. You might want to consider um, using a radio aid. Um, and if you do, you could contact the National Deaf Children's Society because they have a loan service. The joy that we feel when our children start to hear and respond to sound around them is amazing and this continues throughout their childhood. Make sure that your child can hear and recognises the sounds that go on around the house and in your local community. Um, and a sound walk is a great way to try this out. Corinne, what can we hear? What can you hear? You can hear, hear some birdies in the trees. Listen, listen, can you hear the waves? Can you hear the water? The bin men? Listen. <gasps> Ping! Ping! Can you hear? Can you see the aeroplane? 
Where's the aeroplane, Florence? Oh, yes, it's in the sky. <gasps> What's that? Florence! Florence! Florence, what can you hear? You can hear the train. <gasps> What's that? Yeah. Is it the door? Door. Oh! Florence, what can we hear? What? What's that? Yeah. Is it the hailstone on the roof? Yeah. Is it loud? Yeah. 